A crisis unfolding in Gaza. The largest medical facility left, Nasser Hospital, is now unable to provide critical medical care. We are suffering here. There's nothing available. No milk formula, food, doctors, or medications for children. The nonprofit medical organization Doctors Without Borders saying there is now few places for anyone who needs care to go, and patients are stuck inside the hospital because of the dangers outside with fighting around the hospital intensifying. We have a major shortage of medical staff. We have less than 10 percent of the staff in the hospital that were working throughout the war. The unfolding crisis coming on the heels of multiple countries cutting funding to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, who has now fired staff members for their alleged involvement in the October 7th attacks on Israel. In a statement, the U.S. Department of State said the United States is extremely troubled by the allegations that 12 U.N. relief agency employees may have been involved in the terrorist attack on Israel. On Saturday, Israel's foreign minister said Israel will ensure the U.N. relief agency doesn't operate in Gaza after the war. Hamas says it condemns Israel's threats against the agency. The U.N. Relief Agency's chief has ordered an investigation after Israel provided information alleging staff members played a role in the attack. Meanwhile, tensions in the Middle East escalating outside of the Gaza Strip. Houthi rebels unleashing an attack on a British commercial ship off the coast of Yemen Friday. The Iran-backed movement saying it targeted the tanker in response to, quote, American-British aggression. The Yemeni Armed Forces confirms that they will keep taking all military measures and the right to defend our dear Yemen and its solidarity with the Palestinian people and God is with us. The shipping company says all crew and the ship are safe. Stephanie Sandoval, Scripps News.